This is a new Siri powered by Apple Intelligence. There is only one problem. It's not out yet, but don't worry. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can get Apple Intelligence on your iPhone 15 Pro Max or 16 Pro Max. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name is King and I talk about everything Apple here. So if you wanna learn about tips and tricks about how to use your Apple iPhone, I'm the one to help you. So you're here for one reason and for one reason only. That is to find out how you can get Apple intelligence on your iPhone. So I'm here to help, right? Now, number one, you gotta make sure you have a compatible device. There's only some devices that are compatible with Apple intelligence. And when, in terms of the iPhone, only the iPhone 14 up is compatible with some limitations. So fully compatible phones that are actually able to use Apple intelligence are the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the iPhone 15 Pro, so all the 15 Pro lineup, the iPhone 16 and the 16 Pro lineup. These are fully compatible. So when it comes to other devices such as the iPhone 14, 14 Plus and the 14 Pro or, uh, you know, our Pro Max and the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus, these are compatible, but they have a limited, limited compatibility. If you have one of any one of these phones, you will have some features when it comes to Apple intelligence. The second thing you got to do is that you got to make sure you have something called a developer profile. So what that basically is, is that you're telling Apple that you are a developer or you are a beta tester, right? So you could have a public beta or you could have a developer beta tester. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually get that on your iPhone. Get your phone, which I have the 15 Pro Max for this particular video, but I also have a 16 Pro Max, but just for the video, I'm in the 15 Pro Max, right? But you're going to go into your settings. So after you go into your settings, you're going to go all the way down to general. So when you go to general, you're going to go to software and updates, right? So for me personally, I have the developer beta on mine, right? So if you want, you can use the public beta, which I recommend the public beta because usually it's a little bit more, I would say, um, steady and secure. Like, so you, you might have less crashes and stuff because the, the, the developer beta are the, the fresh, untethered beta that is mostly used for developers for testing the app, right? So you can use public beta or developer beta, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can use either. I think both have iOS 18.1 now. So for me, I'm using the developer beta. So once you click developer beta, you actually see the sign right on your screen prompting you to actually install now. So and if you have any one of the, the compatible devices I mentioned, you should be able to go ahead and install it. So I also forgot to mention before you go ahead and actually go ahead and download the software, make sure that you go ahead and back up your iPhone. Oh my goodness, I forgot to mention that. But make sure you back up your iPhone. That's just to ensure that just in case if your phone's crashing a lot and you want to downgrade back to the regular beta, at least you have a backup of your old applications. Or just in case the phone crashes during update as well, you have a backup of your data so that way you don't lose precious data and precious information. You can back up it to iCloud or you can also back it up to your MacBook. Either works. Whichever you have is perfectly fine. So one of my favorite things on the iPhone is a new upgraded Siri. So one of the things I love about Siri is that no longer we have to say, hey Siri, for everything. We can literally just tap the bottom of the screen twice and then it will bring up the Siri. And then you can type whatever you want to ask Siri. You can ask him to, you know, set an alarm clock or give us some reminders. You can ask it whatever and Siri will actually do it for you. So no longer have to say, hey Siri. So this is good for when you're in a crunch where you can't speak. You can literally tap twice to ask Siri any information you want to ask him. And Siri is also powered by ChatGPT with your permission, of course, that will give you even more access to more information. You can do even more with those integration of those two um, intelligent systems. My second favorite uh, feature of iOS 18.9 when it comes to Apple intelligence is actually the AI notes. I use notes for everything. And if you want to see a, a detailed video about for my notes video, it should be right here where I talk about the new AI notes. So you can use it to for do anything. You can even record transcripts with your notes. You can add pictures. There's so much things you could proofread. You know, you could use AI to actually help you write. Like it is so intelligent and so intuitive and I really love it. The second thing I really love is the emails. So when it comes to using your emails, AI, Apple AI makes emails so much better. Now, it gives you a lot of different information here that you can work with, such as, you know, it gives you a summary of what's in the email. It also gives you a priority email list. So different things that may have happened that Apple intelligence system feels that are important to you. So the fourth thing I want to talk about is when it comes to notifications. So 
Apple AI now gives you an, a summary of your notification. So it gives you a nice little summary of what's in those notifications so you can easily glance and to see if do you want to respond to this notification or, or is this something that's important or also not important at all. So when it comes to messages, Apple AI make my messages so much better as well. So this is one of my favorite features as well, is that like now in messages, we have Apple AI. So we can proofread, we can summarize, you know, it gives you suggestions. So it makes our messages a lot more intuitive as well. So it also gives us like easy, quick responses as well, based on how we are actually respond or how we normally interact with our messages. So Apple AI really just really integrates itself into our entire experience to make our experience a lot more easier. Yeah, these are just some of my favorite features from Apple Intelligence. There's so much new features adding in there and Apple's actually slowly adding them into uh, the beta. Um, I'm looking forward to when the new Apple Intelligence is released on in December. In December, we'll have a full public release in iOS 18.1, which is released to the public, and then we'll have access to all new Apple AI features. But one thing I do appreciate about Apple is that they do not release softwares unless the software is actually ready. So I do appreciate them just taking the time and making the software even better for us to use. I know Apple Intelligence can change the way how we do things, so I'm really excited for what Apple has in store for us this year. My name is King. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video as well with a friend if they're interested in getting Apple AI on their iPhone. Until next time, I'll see you in the next iPhone video. Bye for now.